and Regional Bloc Economic Community of West African States ECOWAS will uphold sanctions on Mali until it appoints a civilian prime minister. ECOWAS Commission President Jean-Claude Cassibrou announced on Friday that the sanctions will be lifted when a civilian prime minister is named. Mali's neighbors took a hard line after last month's coup, imposing sanctions in a bid to push the military junta to swiftly restore civilian rule. The trade restrictions include a ban on commercial trade and financial flows, but not basic necessities such as drugs, equipment to fight COVID-19, fuel or electricity. Mali's junta endorsed a roadmap to restoring, uh, restoring civilian rule after the coup and appointed a committee which chose 70-year-old retired Colonel Bando as interim president. Joining us now to make sense of all of this is Professor Bola Akinterinwa, who is a former DG in Nigeria Institute of International Affairs. Good to have you, Professor. Good evening. Thank you. Good evening. Now, there was so much optimism earlier by ECOWAS envoy that the sanctions could be lifted, but that doesn't seem to be the case now, does it? Well, I will say that um, the conditionality given by the ECOWAS is simply to make the new interim president to recognize the fact that Mali is a signatory to the ECOWAS agreement, according to which the regional organization has zero tolerance for any military induced administration. So in this case, um, the ECOWAS doesn't want to give an impression mm. that uh, the interim government can be there for uh, a longer period than necessary. Right. 18 months has given for election to be held and the conditionality that the um, sanction will be lifted if a prime minister is appointed. I think in this case, um, ECOWAS is just simply trying to ensure compliance with the supranational authority of the ECOWAS. Therefore, it's not at all easy. And um, I think um, both sides are simply trying to negotiate mm. by standing on a, on a very tough, you know, uh, platform. All right. Still, still with the ECOWAS, where does this, uh, their stance leave the junta, especially since the new president has been sworn in? Well, the ECOWAS does not have any um, choice than to begin to deal with uh, the new interim um, president who has promised at least to do better. You know, one, um, the interim president says he will uh, remain faithful to the international, um, you know, obligations to which Mali uh, has been, um, you know, committed. Secondly, he says that uh, because many people believe that he's representing the, the youth, 12, uh, 25 years old and younger, those who have not gone to school uh, in the past two years. And he says that he's going to fight corruption. Mm. And more importantly, he says that he will want to um, ensure that elections are organized within the time frame of um, the 18 months given. So in this case, the ECOWAS authority is only left to accept to continue with that, right. with the expectation that a prime minister will sooner than later be appointed. Right. So Before that's the only choice that uh, ECOWAS has. No transition charter has been unveiled yet. How significant is this, or is it worrying for you? Well, um, I can agree with you that uh, there is yet to be a transition shutter. Since we have a new, you know, uh, an interim president. But Goita, when he came in, he had an agenda. 
And by that time, he was even talking about uh, nine months when he first came in. But now that uh, we have an interim uh, president just won in um, last Friday, we should expect that in the next uh, four or five days, next one week, he will come up with an agenda. There is no way we are going to have uh, an interim president without a focus, without an agenda. So I'm not much worried now that he does not have any any um, um, shatter for now. Right. But if within the next uh, two weeks he does not have anything, there must be a cause for worry. So I want to believe that um, they will come up with an agenda which will be defined by the objectives that I've just um, enumerated mm -hmm. that is going to remain faithful to the international commitments of um, the country that he will fight corruption. In fact, what is more important, what is more critical, is the fact that he says that the military will not anymore abuse civilians. I think that's very critical. Mm -hmm. He made that one clear. So the mere fact that um, uh, as a former defense minister, as a former chief of um, Air Force, now uh, um, interim president, telling, quote and unquote, the bloody civilians that they will no longer be mistreated by the military. I think that uh, we should capitalize on that. All right. In the meantime, what are your expectations uh, from, you know, the new interim president, Bandor? Uh, will he honor the 18 months <coughs> deadline to conduct elections? W what are you expecting? I think he does not have any choice. He's going to respect it. Mm. All right. Thank you so very much for that straight and direct answer and for bringing your wealth of knowledge to the conversation, Professor, as always. Do keep safe out there. Thank you for having me.